What's up guys, this is girl Antisocial. I'm going to be doing a highly requested reading on Ice Spice, Lil Uzi, and JT. This video is for entertainment purposes and if you're new, if you're new subscriber, yes, the camera's off, I like it better that way so just listen to my voice. This is a highly requested reading by y'all. Me personally, I don't really give a fuck, but you guys want it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, we're just, so apparently, um, JT do something at Uzi. She did the most at the fucking BT Awards towards Uzi because apparently he was trying to talk to Ice Spice. Um, and Ice Spice decided to post Uzi on her page and, and JT liked it. But the shade room made it seem like Uzi was the first post Jay-Z, I mean JT, I mean Ice Spice posted. Like, like, like he was like the main person she posted when that wasn't the case. Ice Spice might just be a fan. You never know, you know? We're going to see, Spirit. Why did JT beat up Uzi at the BET Awards? Why did she go off on Uzi at the BET Awards? Why did JT go off on Uzi at the BET Awards? Why did JT go off at Uzi at the BET Awards? This seems like a toxic relationship. Women, keep your hands to yourselves because some men are going to hit you back. Yes, they are. Not saying it's right, but that's just how certain men are. Certain men are going to hit you fucking back. Domestic violence, in either way, is not okay. But let me keep my opinions to myself. Why did JT blow up on Uzi at the BET Awards? It definitely has to be some type of jealousy in this. And I definitely think that this is deeper than what the public sees. Okay? For 100%. For sure. We have the Five of Swords and the Jealousy. Okay. All right. Well, Five of Swords in the back of the deck states it all. JT was fucking jealous. She was jealous, okay? She was jealous that Uzi shouted out Ice Spice. She was jealous that Uzi was trying to talk to Ice Spice. She was jealous. Five of Swords, she was jealous, okay? She was fucking jealous. Sneakiness. She felt like he was being sneaky. She felt like um, she felt defeated. Um, she did not agree with what he did, and she was fucking jealous. You feel me? Um... And surprisingly, Uzi took the high road, um, but she was definitely jealous, you know? You know, she didn't agree with that shit at all. But the Five of Cups, it talks about someone having regrets, being disappointed in themselves, Eight of Swords, um, having negative thoughts at the moment, feeling trapped. So JT definitely regrets what she did. And she feels kind of like conflicted and stuck with the Eight of Swords. But this could also be Uzi's energy of feeling trapped in this relationship, which is crazy. Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Six of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So JT regrets what she did. Uzi feels stuck to JT. Uzi is a manipulator. But the Nine of Pentacles, he kind of acts like he's single. Um, the hangman this talks about um JT looking at things from a new perspective, them letting her letting go. Um, six of cups, her trying to make shit better, four of pentacles, um, them being very private, nine of wands, someone standing their ground, taking courage, four of cups, which talks about meditation, empathy, disconnection, the star card, healing being calm spiritual so uzi sees himself as a victim jt is the villain in this situation um and she basically regrets what she did but she did what she did because she was fucking jealous okay jealousy she was fucking jealous and she felt insecure and she felt defeated uzi took the high road publicly but we don't know what would have happened behind the scenes okay um Okay, we're gonna see. Does little Uzi like Ice Spice? I know this is a messy ass question, but I gotta ask. <laughs> Does little Uzi like Ice Spice? The boy's a liar. He doesn't see us. 
does Lil Uzi like Ice Spice? <coughs> oh my god, I can hear Ice Spice saying, why am I in this? Like, why am I in this? It's not that serious. She's such a New Yorker, I swear. Literally. She is such a New Yorker. Does Lil Uzi like Ice Spice? Does Uzi like Ice Spice? <coughs> we have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, you is dead. Oh, you is wrong. Uzi is wrong. Oh, oh, Uzi is wrong. Okay. All right. So the Knight of Pentacles, it talks about Uzi trying to be the Prince Charming and trying to like talk to Ice Spice in the back of the deck. So he does like her. It talks about Knight of Pentacles, him trying to talk to her. Like, you know, let's be friends, let's be cool at first. But with the Knight of Cups in the front of the deck, it talks about him trying to romance Ice Spice. Him finding the heart, him being a Prince Charming. Him trying to talk to her. You know, what's up with you type energy. Ten of Wands, he feels like whatever is going on in his life is a burden. He has a lot going on. Um, but I also feel like this, this, this is... This is really like um, Ice Spice. Like, she kind of feels like this whole situation with JT and Uzi is a burden and ain't got shit to do with her. It's like, why the fuck am I in this? You know, the Emperor card and the Justice card talks about fairness, equality, balance, clarity, the truth. So the truth is, he does like Ice Spice, okay? And he is going to try to talk to her again. Yeah. And he's going to try to, like, get her attention again. Ace of Wands. Uzi has a new project coming out. Um, a new album. And he could shout out Ice Spice again. Tara Carr talks about sudden changes, disaster, revelation, insight. So something could come out from this album where he could shoot, like, where he could, like, shot, shoot his shot at Ice Spice again. Yeah. The album is going to be a success because we got the Sun card. But with the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords, it talks about someone contemplating, meditating, um, retreating. So he could shoot his shot at Ice Spice. He's going to try to shoot his shot again. He could shout her out in this album. And he's going to retreat from somewhere else. Four of Swords, Six of Swords. He could either retreat from trying to talk to Ice Spice or he could take a break from his relationship with JT. But with the Judgment card and the Four of Pentacles, there's some type of forgiveness, um, redemption. Oh, he could try to. Oh, he could try to. Oh, Uzi, you was a. Oh my God. Now I'm either looking at this shit at two ways. Um, please ignore the background. He could either try to redeem himself from, for that shit that JT pulled and try to like talk to Ice Spice again secretly with the Four of Pentacles, right? And then with the Four of Cups, be disconnected um, with JT, but also feel bad for the situation that happened at the BET Awards, right? Right? Or... This could talk about him retreating from talking to Ice Spice um, and realizing, okay, this in, this ain't it. You know, because Four of Swords talks about retreat. Six of Swords talks about moving on, transition. The Judgment card talks about JT forgiving him. Four of Pentacles talks about it being private. Four of Cups talks about um, empathy, feeling empathy, disconnected, Hierophant being committed to the relationship, Star card, healing. Two of Swords, indecision, okay? Him not knowing if he wants JT or Ice Spice. Keep in mind, I don't think Ice Spice, I don't think she gives a fuck. <laughs> I don't think she gives a fuck. Now, I'm looking at the cards in those two ways, right? 
So I always give an ultimatum, right? But it just talks about like nine of swords, stress, the lover's card, the six of wands. Like, oh, this nigga Uzi could try to shoot his shot at Ice Spice. That's all I'm saying. Listen to the music. Pay attention. He could try to. So this shit could get even messier. He could try to shoot his shot at Ice Spice. Or he likes her, but he doesn't want drama. And he could just retreat, leave us alone, and focus on JT. Hmm. Um, how does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? How does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? <laughs> I'm hearing why am I in it? Like, I know Ice Spice is I think Capricorn. <laughs> How does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? Oh, she and her mood. Yeah, she's a Capricorn to the core. How does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? How does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? How does Ice Spice feel about this whole situation? Six of Wands in the back of the deck. Oh, she really don't give a fuck. <laughs> King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords. She don't give a fuck. Ace of Cups. She don't care. Five of Cups. Six of Cups, okay. Oh, whoa. what's going on here? Okay, Six of Swords in the back of the deck talks about public recognition, self confidence. So she don't really give a fuck. You know, she feels like she's a prize. Men are gonna do this. Men are gonna try to shut her out. Men are gonna try to talk to her. Um, King of Swords. She sees Uzi as um. Someone being disciplined, someone that she has been a fan of, this King of Swords type energy. Ace of Pentacles, she sees the opportunity. Um, she sees this more as a clout chase, opportunity, a nigga with the bag type of situation. Six of Swords, this talks about transitioning, moving on from this. She don't really give a fuck. Um, Ace of Cups talks about creativity. She could use this for her music. Five of Cups talks about regret. She kind of like, eh. Wrong place, wrong time energy. Like, eh. eh. She kind of like regrets like being around them, to be honest. Because this ain't her vibe. Like, this ain't her mood. Like, she's not, she's not messy. She don't give a fuck. Six of Cups talks about like her reminiscing about it. Um, because she really was having fun before that. Four of Pentacles talks about her keeping to herself, um, being very private, the lover's card, the sun card. So Ice Spice might have her own shit going on, her own little love life going on with the lovers and the sun card. She don't really give a fuck about Uzi, JT, you know, this other stuff. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Um... This does talks about her working on her task um, and her working on her music with the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Another big collaboration coming from her, her being very committed. And the Hierophant, it being, I mean, the Hermit card, it being a secret. Ace of Swords, it being a success. High Priestess knowledge. So Ice Spice is really just focused on work. She don't really give a fuck about JT or Uzi. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. She's going to just be working, focusing on herself, taking care of herself. And with the Four of Swords retreating, okay? Um, yeah, she don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. She don't care. I don't expect her to care. That's not her man or her relationship. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Um, where do I go from here? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Will there be any more drama with Uzi and JT? Will there be any more drama with Uzi and JT? How long have they been together? For a year or two? Three years? I'm not even... Will there any, be any more drama with Uzi and JT? <coughs> she and her mood. Fucking... The goddamn Ten of Swords popped out. Should we leave that there? Now we're going to put that shit back in. Will there be any more drama with Uzi and JT? Drama with Uzi and JT Spirit. Four of Swords in the back of the deck, Retreat, uh, Page of Pentacles, Emperor Car, King of Cups, Uzi is bipolar, Two of Swords, I mean, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, King of Wands, Full Car, Tower. Yes, there will be. Um, Forbes also talks about retreating. They could take a break um, with their relationships that are being public. Page of Pentacles, Embercar, the King of Cups. So Uzi is going to be, he's going to take lead in this relationship. He's going to be busy chasing his bag, making money, financial opportunities. Um, yeah, he's going to be focused on that. Two of Pentacles, him trying to balance his relationship and money making. Ace of Pentacles, they could buy a new house together, new financial opportunity, more money coming towards him. Eight of Wands, there's going to be a lot of happening fast with their relationship. Lots of traveling, lots of recklessness with the full card, King of Wands, full card. So Uzi's going to be moving reckless. He's going to be moving really reckless, especially with JT. Not giving a fuck. The Tower card talks about sudden change, disaster revelation. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. This talks about um, JT waiting for the right time to pop off. Um, but her, them also persevering with their relationship. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Unify, with a fortune, a cycle in their relationship. Ace of Cups, Baby, Proposal. Uh, or Page of Swords, Gossip about Baby, New Ways of Communicating. Queen of Wands, the Moon card, the Five of Swords. Um, this talks about uh, JT living in an illusion. Um, fears, anxiety, fears about losing Uzi, Five of Swords conflict, her being jealous again, Five of Cups, her regret, and this is an abusive relationship, I can't, Five of Pentacles, um, financial loss, worrying about losing Uzi, Seven of Cups, worried about temptation, the Magician card, the Empress, the Two of Swords, indecision, there could be a pregnancy for JT, or she could just be fertile, um, or she could be growing in her womanhood. Let's see. We're going to see if Uzi does cheat on JT or will he? Well, I mean, I did ask if he liked it. Ice Spice and I got that he did. So, but like that just, that just tells us everything. But has Uzi cheated on JT spirit? Has Uzi cheated on her? I'm pretty sure, yeah, he has. Has Uzi cheated on JT? I don't know why, but I don't feel bad for her. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't feel bad. I don't I don't feel bad at all. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because she's still with him. I don't know. Or she likes it there. Does Uzi cheat on... Has Uzi cheated on JT? <laughs> Has Uzi cheated on JT?
Has Uzi cheated on JT Spirit? Has Uzi cheated on JT? We got the Six of Swords in the back of the day. Um, Three of Cups. Ace of Cups. Hermit card. Uh, 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 the Dave card is the Ace of Cups and the Hermit card. It definitely talks about um, him having threesomes. Like him fucking with like friends, female friends, or like other parties. They could have like an open relationship, but it just talks about like some type of agreement, some type of third party, three of cups, ace of cups, um, compassion, intuition, spirituality. The hermit card, it being on the low, not really being like public. Chariot card talks about perseverance. The sun card talks about fun, happiness. The her the hangman talks about like um, letting go, surrendering, her allowing this. Chain, six of cups, with a fortune, four of swords. Um, yeah, it being a cycle, four of swords retreating. So they could have an agreement. It might not really be cheating, cheating. Like threesomes, maybe. Maybe they've had threesomes. Um, or maybe he's had threesomes. Um, but it's not coming across as cheating. It's coming across like as an agreement. Because the Three of Cups talks about third party. Right? Third party and agreement to sleep with multiple women together. Multiple people, other parties being involved. Six of Swords in the back of the deck talks about change, moving on. So he's definitely changed for her. Um, but yeah, um, in my opinion, uh, do I think JT did too much? Um, I mean, putting her hands on him, yeah. I don't know. I don't really give a fuck. And it's just not, it's not just that. I just, I don't sympathize with JT at all. Um, not really. I don't sympathize with Uzi. And with Ice Spice, I mean, I wouldn't have posted Uzi. Because it's just like, okay, that's just being messy. But hey, that's some New York shit, okay? It's like, okay, I'm I'm going to post your nigga anyway just because you're doing the most. That's some New York shit. But if you guys haven't, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and peace.